uh, December 4th, 2012, uh, I was allowed just to not do 911 calls because they saw the need and the necessity. And so now that's all we do. That's all I do right now. And then I'm training Jose to do it. And he's got one more day to go. Right? I think it's good, but I went there and it came out. Okay. Good. But we want to try to get into that other program. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Therapy? Yeah. That's what I want. And we'll talk with the Jewish Family Services. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Uh, set it all up. Okay. You know what I mean? I can get, I can get Jeff. I'll pick you up in the morning. Take you to the program. After, I'll pick you up after the program. Take you back to your own apartment. Not only do you help homeless, but this also is uh, connected to a reduction in crime, too, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, they, they go hand in hand. You know, when people get desperate, that's when the crimes happen. So rather than lock them up, we're going to try to offer them another form, another initiative, you know, another way to go. And Chief White, as well as Mayor Guardian, they've had, they had to be, I'm, I'm sure, they're incredibly supportive. Oh, uh, they're 100% backing us. And and, they, and I, I can't thank them enough. I mean, I, I went away from answering 911 calls to more of a community policing aspect. And community policing really is taking the, getting some momentum as being an incredibly effective way of reducing crime. Well, it is. It's because what happens is they don't know you. All they see you is is drive by in a car, and you can't do policing or community policing from behind a steering wheel. Hey, Don. Let's see what was going on. Everything's good. How's it going? All right. Hey, my man. What's going on, pal? Hello. How are you? Check, Give me a little check, high five. Check. There you go. Good man. <laughs> wow. Did I miss your potato head? Yeah. That was great. You know. All right, buddy. <laughs> Enjoying you having a good time, pal? Yeah. Yeah? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Anytime. Anytime. Okay. Let me see. Okay. See you now. Thank you. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah. What's going on, pal? Eagles. Man, it looks like an English muffin sandwich. You want the sun? Or, uh, yeah, it's got to look. It's a little hot, though. Okay, man, it smells good. So let me call the lady from the VA. If I call the lady from the VA, uh, and if not, I'm going to give you the, her number for you okay. to call. Okay. okay? And if that way, if you can call her, you can get the voucher and you can save your money okay. for other things. Okay. So May from the VA is going to come out right now and see about getting him a voucher. Getting you a voucher for your room. How's that sound, Leslie? Okay. That sounds cool, right? Okay. And you'll be able to take you know advantage of your VA benefits. All right, thank thank you so much, May. So remember, it's from the VA, May from the VA. Kind of rhymes a little bit, you know what I mean? See what I'm saying, brother? Okay. All right, and what he's going to do, she's going to come out and she's going to take some of your information, and hopefully she'll get you a voucher and, and during the so that the voucher that'll pay your rent, and then the money you were paying for rent you'll have for spending money. Okay. All right? Okay. Sound like a deal? Works for me. Good man. You're a good man, Leslie. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you pal. You. What's up, Brad? Yeah, good. Hey, how's the, the crew team going, man? Hey, I'm right in the Titanic, brother. Yeah, yeah, you look good, man. What's going on, pal? Right? Yeah. How's it going up here? Things are excellent, man. Yeah. It's beautiful up here. People are out here. They're enjoying this. How about our peeps? Camp. Are they all being good? Who, All our ones? peeps are being good? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Without exception. Okay. That's Eddie. He's one of the ambassadors. He's uh, He also helps us in the morning when we do our sweeps. We do a monthly sweep. But the, the last Thursday of every month, that's when everybody's money runs out. And we used to have 60 people at a time under the boardwalk, living under the boardwalk. The last two, three sweeps I did were zeros. We had no one living under the boardwalk. 
So that that's our mission. That's our my my goal personally is not to have anyone underneath the boardwalk. The, the homeless outreach. Uh, my actual title is home homeless outreach officer and mental health officer. And what I do is I'll get I'll go to the calls or I'll jump to calls that uh, are related to that. You know, a man down or a drunken guy on the street or. Uh, you know, somebody begging out in front of the Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. And what I try to do is rather than issue them a ticket or, you know, arrest them on warrants, is we'll try to get them to the Jewish Family Services, that's a single point of entry, and start to see what's available to them, what they can get, what they're, what they're uh, allowed to have, you know, as far as Social Security and an apartment and housing. Me and my family, I have a sixth grade girl, an eighth grade daughter, and a uh, 10th grade son plays lacrosse, plays football, and we came. We actually came to Boardwalk Hall to see Michael Bublé, and that was one hell wow. of a night. It was really, we had a lot of fun, and then the crazy part was when I walked outside after the show, there was a couple of the people that I know, you know, some of the at-risk people, uh, the homeless individuals that aren't homeless anymore because of our programs, and we happened to run into a couple of them, and my family got to see them and kind of see what we do. I keep I keep a, a bin in the back at all times, and in the bin, in the bin that goes in the back seat, uh, I have uh, during the winter I have gloves, hats, scarves for those who don't want to go in, and then now I have T-shirts, socks, things like that for some of these guys. I get it from the rescue mission. He's in a real good mood today. Oh, okay. Everything's good. I offered him to go to the program. Oh, okay. He said he'll, he'll go to the program. Oh. Okay. So that's that's a big pickup for Joe. Joe's always out here, he's always on the benches or something like that. Sometimes he gets a little out of control. You know what I mean? So if we can get him into the program, you know, that would be that'd be great. So you have on body cameras, you have these new security cameras that, that'll be installed on those poles. And all of your uh, public safety people are now uh, in the process of being connected. This is huge for a city to be that advanced with security. I mean, Atlantic City Police Department is taking a step you know, into the future with that every single patrol officer now has a body camera so that there's no issues of w what's happening out there. And right here, this is the Tropicana, and you see they're putting in the brand new digital screens here. Now, this is a couple million dollars of these guys reinvesting, you know, then they're reinvesting in the future. So I'm really pretty psyched about it. I think I think it's, it's just starting all over again. Yeah, you get pumped when you come through the portal and see that, don't you? You do. I mean, you see that, that it's not, they're not closing the, uh, the casino hotels anymore. You're seeing work being done on them, and they're spending millions of dollars to enhance them, to, to, to get the, you know, and the people are going to come. I mean, it's it's like the field. If you build if you build the field, they'll come. Hey, Charlie! Go back and see Charlie real quick, all right? What's going on, Chai? Everything's good? Yeah, pretty damn good for me. And don't say anything too much. Don't say too much about the funeral. Because he says he's just homeless and he wants to be here. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. This is where a lot of them were. We're going to get out and walk up there. See if anybody's staying out under there. There was people staying under here. So we try to keep a check on it every once a week at least to get down here so that they don't stay here. And then they were staying under here. And we came down and we pulled them out from, we pulled them out from underneath here. And we took them right up to the single point of entry. And we got them lodged and fed and new clothes right away when we went up. 
And uh, you can see there's still some other clothes and some of the other belongings down here that we have. We'll have the uh, the trash team will come and clean it up. But you're also saying that fencing the outer perimeter is helpful, huh? Yeah, uh, just like down at the other at the uh, Caesar's Pier, when we when we fenced the Caesar's Pier in, uh, it stopped anyone from going underneath it. As long as I don't find any any bedding, you know, the bedding will, will show that people are staying here. And we've been pretty, like John, uh, Johnny Lockney on the ATV just there, the, the beach, uh, the boardwalk officer, he'll come down here on the ATV, come under here, and the guys on 4 to 12 and, and midnight to 8 will come out, come over here, come on the ATVs and come out, come under as far as they can on the ATVs with the lights at nighttime to reassure that there's nobody under here. Is it true that your uh, wife is uh, a good cook and her leftovers are pretty popular up here? <laughs> Sometimes you use it as a tool, right? Yeah, that's what happened. One, uh, one of the times, well, not one of the times, a lot of times my wife would have, we'd have leftovers from dinner. And she'd put them in, uh, I said to her, don't throw them out. I said, I can use them. I can put them in uh, Ziploc baggies and we can uh, go up and uh, I'll hand out the pot roast or, the, uh, you know, whatever it is, the roast beef. And uh, some of the guys will say, Hey, that was good pot. Hey, your wife makes good pot roast. Your wife makes so. Uh, I was back doing the same thing that I've been doing. So that's the good, that's the good part is that you know a couple people have stepped up. Always call me anything. I will. If there's anything I can help you with. All right. See ya. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Nice day, huh? Oh, thank God. Thank you. Yeah. Long winter. Thank you. Thank you. All right.